to the Gentleman's Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host today, and I'm bringing you a shave video. Um, <clears throat> as kind of as I said in the previous video, um, I have some special soaps today. Um, what I've got is bear with me. So I've been in touch with uh, Kevin Doherty from K Shave Works. Let me save this. Uh, K Shave Works, and. I've seen a soap used quite a lot. Now, I, I'm a sucker for citrusy scents, I have to admit. And I, I would say, like, the most citrusy scent is, you know, one of them is Cure for a Bellyache from K Shave Works. They don't um, sell it anymore, which is unfortunate, because that's actually one of the first soaps I looked for. But, <laughs> hey, you know, when you can get things custom, why not? So, I messaged him. I got a matching uh, aftershave balm as well. Uh, that original aftershave balm didn't have menthol on it, menthol on it, but he put some menthol on it for me, which is great. Yeah. So what am I shaving with today? I'm shaving with a uh, Edwin Jagger D eighty nine. Um, I still have a couple of shaves left to go on the Rex Ambassador before I'm happy for to review it. Um, I'm shaving with the it's been soaking the fine accoutrement synthetic. Uh, I have, I do have some non-synthetic brushes. If you follow me on Instagram at the Virtual Groom Room, um, you'll see that I, I don't always use synthetic brushes. But so, but what, what I'm going to do now anyway is I'm going to get get my shave ready. Um, I'll see you back for loading the brush. See you in a minute. Hey guys, um, ready to load? So again, like as I previously stated, the water here is pretty hard and that doesn't really have many advantages when it comes to wet shaving and making a lather so as I've said before I've got my uh, this stuff is loading really well I've got my um, bowl in the sink of distilled water I showed you it in my first shaving video just a dollar from Walmart works perfectly well I like to load for about 45 seconds to a minute just because I feel that I have so many soaps that you can never have too much lather in a shave. Um, yeah, so still going here. Just picking up some really, really nice amounts. So how are you all doing? Um, the World Cup has started, which is cool. Uh, I saw the first game, a few games. Uh, the Spain and Portugal game was great. Uh, you know, as a Liverpool fan, <laughs> I don't mind seeing... Well, I, You'd think I don't don't like seeing Cristiano Ronaldo do well, but he's such a rebel to watch that I, I just don't mind when the guy does well. It's loaded now. I, I'd say this is loaded how I'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pre-shave on and everything, and I'll see you back here once I'm pre-shaved and I'm ready to lather. See you in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, pre-shave is on. Um, I'm using my old... Trusty, you know, Parasso White. Love this stuff. My favorite pre-shave. Um, got the brush here. I'm going to load up. So, I will almost definitely need some water because I loaded up for a while. But, we'll get it in. Oh, that smells lovely. We'll get it on. And then assess how much water we need afterwards. Fuck hell. You see what I mean? Excuse my French. <laughs> but... Really nice. I, I I'm I wouldn't say I'm surprised by the scent, but it's so creamy. Um I mean the actual scent is creamy. Probably don't understand what I mean, but like it's not like a coconut water scent, it's like a coconut cream scent. Like if you were to have a coconut cream dessert. As you can tell, I'm partial to desserts. <laughs> I'm actually happy with that, so I'm going to go into a pass one now. Let me get this off. I always mess up my shirt. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing. I could be wearing a v-neck, I could be wearing anything. And I always somehow manage to destroy them. There we go, I'll do. Right, okay, pass one. With the grain. Edwin Jagger D89. Trusty Pulse Silver Blade.
Wow, that's crazy. I've not used anything but the Rex Ambassador for ages, and this is way more forgiving. <laughs> Efficiency is a lot less, don't get me wrong, but... You can tell that they market this as a beginner safety eraser. I can easily see how um, this would be easier to transition from uh, a cartridge. Man, that soap is nice. Did it mean at cost price as well, which is very nice of them. I'm going out tonight to uh, eat some Italian food. Again, you could probably tell I'm partial to Italian food too. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. Not bad. Not a bad pass one by any means. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse off and I'll see you for pass two. Time for pass two. Um, really nice first pass. It's so different to shaving with the Rex Ambassador. So let's uh, load up. So I like to paint it on my second and third pass. You don't need a huge um, bit of lather because frankly all you're going for at this point is... Well I mean all you're going for anyway is gradual hair reduction. but. Which is why we all do it. Well, most of us do a three pass shape. Um, what I'm gonna, all I'm aiming for here is a decent amount of slickness from my razor to glide, glide across. Get some more water into the brush. Just keep giving it some slickness. Okay, I'm happy with that. So a pass two, uh, in the direction of the ear, both ways. So as a Liverpool fan, um, Egypt didn't play Mo Salah. Um, he came off an injury in the Champions League final. But it's still astounding as to why they didn't start him. Um, they did lose the game as well. They lost the... They, I believe Uruguay scored a goal from a corner. But still, like, you know, he's your best player. He's deemed fit to play, then, you know, play him. It's like uh, Green Bay Packers having a fat Aaron Rodgers and leaving him out. It doesn't make sense to me. Big fan of this so far. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Something I noticed already is uh, the razor is not as efficient as the Rex. But it is way more forgiving, so... Still lots of residual slickness. Got slippery hands. I should, I should really dip my hands in the alum block. I 
happy. Okay, so that's pass two. Um, next pass is kind of away from the air towards the mouth. So I'm going to see you for pass three after I do some rinsing. Okay, time for pass three. Still a nice amount of soap left in the brush. Can't really complain. Not the slickest soap anymore, I must say. So, give it some water. I'm not the type of guy that I sit here for ten minutes just to get a a lather everyone is happy with. So, I'm also not the type of guy to spend an extortion amount of money on brushes or anything. So, I have quite a bit of shave gear, but limited compared to some of the rest. Okay, um, across the grain going towards the mouth on both sides. a bit. I'll get it on the cleanup pass. The uh, ambassador would have taken all that down, but Okay, that's the third pass done. Uh, not bad, I still have some stuff to, to clear up, but we will get that. I'm gonna rinse off again and I'll see you for the cleanup pass. Okay, time for the cleanup pass. Let's get what we can out of the brush. There's not loads left in the brush, but I'd say there's enough. Um, dry off the hand. It's very slick, I could say there. Nice. So I, I, you know, I don't really aim for a BDS shave because my skin doesn't like me. I just aim for very, very close and no kind of like easy to fail struggle and it works. I normally why I tie with this razor the feather. Um, I, I feel the feather kind of brings it up a level of efficiency and I, I do appreciate it. But, um, I like to pull silver blades. <laughs> So my hair, the bottom of my neck grows in a weird direction across the grain, sideways on my neck, on the bottom of my neck. My hair pattern is just funky, to be honest. But it's something that is unique to you, so it makes sense, I guess. Okay, so post shave time. Uh, I've done a bit of cleaning up. What I'm going to do now is run an alum block across my face, uh, wet it, wet the alum block, do that. So let's do it. Uh, 
I can feel one place where I already went a bit too deep. It's fine, it happened. Nothing there. Okay, nothing there. I thought I went a bit too deep, but it's not that bad. Neck. Again, nothing there really either. It's just, the D89 is such a forgiving razor that um, I believe once you get your hair patterns down, uh, you won't have any any problem. Um, I'm gonna let this dry on my face. I'll see you back for the second part of my post shave. See you in a sec. Okay, second part of my post shave. Uh, Today is witch hazel. Cucumber. I always use this, regardless of even if I'm using a like a post shave balm. I just think it's really good for your skin. That is really nice. It's very soothing. Shut that tap up. Okay. As I said before, I'll let this dry on my face and I'll see you back for the last part of my post shave. See you in a sec. This last part of the post shave, um, I'm going to use the um, Cure for a Bellyache post shave balm here. I'm looking forward to using this. I wonder if it smells a lot like the uh, actual product. This stuff tends to go a long way. I have another uh, case that I use way too much there. Smells good though. Yes. Oh, really nice and mentholate too. Let's get this proper spread in. Okay, the menthol makes me blink a little bit, so. <laughs> so yeah, that's been our shave today. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and if you did, I'd really appreciate a subscription. Um, apart from that, it's been Jack, your host with the Virtual Grim Room, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.